Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Catch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Hi, I'm Linda Tiffin from Tiffin's Creative Center and the current chair of the Starry Night Organizing Committee. I've been involved with the Starry Night Studio and Gallery Tour since its inception in 2005. The event has grown over the years from about 500 patrons to over 2,000 and we'd like to thank all of you for your support over the years. We encourage you to continue to visit the various shops, galleries and restaurants downtown. Now I understand What you tried to say to me and How you suffered for your sanity and How you tried to set them free they would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Hello, faces. my name is Marlene Bulis and I've been an artist for quite a while. I'd say probably around uh, 22 years. I hate to think how fast that time's gone by. But, um, and I'm here in my studio. I'm going to talk about starry night. We needed to do something about getting some publicity for our new gallery. We were in Florida and um, what they were doing every Friday night they would have uh, the, their galleries open and lots of people would be coming out to look at um, the galleries and the art. So um, we were thinking about that and um, so there was Kim Campbell there and Xavier, Liz uh, Scamahorn, I believe. Kim Campbell kind of um, took a lot of initiative. If um, we could call it a really interesting name, like one of Van Gogh's paintings, and call it Starry Night. That's how it all started. There are many new galleries in the Peter Street Arts District and this is it opens up Starry Night even more to more people. It seems to be a very important place um, because people coming from far away or local restaurants and the music and all that happy kind of thing. So the um, Starry Nights have really, really been a, a, a wonderful uh, event for so many people and for all ages. It's nice to see children there promote Starry Night uh, because it's uh, something that Aurelia is going to benefit from too as a whole. Weathered faces lined in pain Are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how
Perhaps they'll listen now For they could not love you But still your love was true And when no hope was left inside on that starry, starry night The Aurelia Museum of Art and History is a hub of arts, heritage and culture in our community and in the heart of Aurelia's Arts District here on Peter Street South. We're so excited to be able to host art and history exhibitions and a diversity of programming and we're hoping to do that going into 2021. Currently at this time we have our first floor open with art exhibitions and exhibitions of our history of our community based on objects and art and artifacts and archival materials from our collection. We also have a small gift shop as well on the first floor. In the coming months, we hope to open the second floor to also offer art and history with new exhibitions. And at the same time, as part of our phase two of our reopening plan, we're hoping to bring back some on-site on programs as well as virtual programs for not just adults, but for children and families as well. And that will hopefully lead us into Starry Night 2021, where we hope to have the entire building open with our third floor, our studio space, with a community engagement activity. But I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful. Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you've met The ragged men in ragged clothes My name is Gail Schofield I'm an artist uh, in residence at uh, Tiffin's Creative Centre. I've been involved with Starry Night for a long time. Um, initially when Zephyr was part of the, the street scene and I'm still a member of the Zephyr Artists. Uh, I think the Starry Night's been very successful of all the years there's been participation uh, every year regardless of whether there was a Starry Night or a rainy night, which it was on many occasions. Um, it's great fun, it's a great opportunity for the artists, great opportunity for the galleries. It brings people in and the population just loves it. Everybody always says, yes, when is it? When is it? We want to, we want to know. And uh, this year things are a little bit different as they were with many things. I think going forward there's opportunities for more change, uh, some more opportunities for artists to, to exhibit on the street. Um, perhaps do some um, actual painting as uh, Creative Nomad has had doing in the, in the past through the summer and I think uh, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for the artists. The silver thorn of bloody rose lie crushed and broken on the virgin snow now I think I know what you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity and how you Hi there, my name is Christine Hager and I am on the board of directors for the Aurelian District Arts Council known as ODAC locally. Starry Night's been going on for 15 years and ODAC has been a part of it for many of those years. We have been able to provide promotion funding and insurance coverage for this event and it will be available for the 21 celebration as well. Starry Night is an important tourism event for Aurelia and for the businesses and restaurants as well. Uh, we look forward to having visitors to our wonderful city known as the Sunshine City to celebrate this unique event. And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they're not listening still Perhaps they never Starry, starry night.
Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hill Hey, welcome to McKee's uh, Dump in the Woods. This is 60 years after a start in Yorkville doing uh, watercolor blow-ups for architects and engineers. I probably have the worst shop in Canada, but I can still crank out art on a daily basis. The galleries in Aurelia are well worth visiting. Um, Starry Nights is one of the main shows that we do each year, and it brings in lots of people as far away as Toronto. And there's probably 20, 25 galleries that uh, are showing tremendous work. The really artists are making it from sculptor to illustration work and uh, a great deal of uh, free form modern art, uh, a lot of which fits into the steampunk category. Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming. My name is David Shaw. I am the owner of the Northern Joinery and the Maker's Market in lovely downtown Aurelia. Starry night is our favorite night of the year. We've been very fortunate in 2019 to experience our very first Starry Night. And both as an artisan and a merchant, I can tell you that it is absolutely the most magical night of the year. We can't wait to, for 2021 and hope that we can all get back together and enjoy another wonderful night of art and entertainment. Flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflect in Vincent's size of china blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined in pain We're planning already, so please stay safe and well as we're looking forward to seeing you at next year's event. Hope you'll all come out to celebrate Starry Night 2021 with us. Remember, art is too important not to share. Are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand what you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen